Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Hi, guys. I uh, finished some projects earlier than expected, so I have time to kill before I go to bed. So why not do a short reaction video and then a catechist, catechist, cad man, another cad man. <laughs> Except it's going to be three short videos, all related to Sonic because the last video I did had a Sonic advertisement I did not like. That was a no, 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 I did not appreciate that. <laughs> but anyways, this was also requested by Sonic Ryan 9 who, um, who, uh, found out that I or realized I like Sonic a lot more than I should but um, requested that I do two of the three videos I'm gonna do so I am having way too much fun with this music and I'm half tired but I want to do this stuff so I do apologize I'm sorry but yeah let's go ahead and have some fun with this one. Oh, is it gonna do this thing it's, it's gonna be a thing okay if it's gonna be a thing, yep, yep, it's it's a thing. Every time when I'm doing Sonic as well, every single time. I I I, I don't. Wait, wait, wait! I want I want to be wowed. Freaking yes. Okay. Take four. <laughs> Maybe. And so by the end of the day, I had no excuse oh. to see the god Zeus down by the spruce tree where I deduced he seduced me, the stupid moose. So then I said, Vamoose, you goose, and I'll let you loose before I get the noose and have juice during your abuse, you dumb recluse. Gee. Hello. Don't ever get involved with Greek gods, man. So yeah. much drama. And what do I do when there's a lot of drama in my life? Yeah, today we'll be playing Sonic <coughs> Fighters, my first dive into the yes. Sonic universe on this channel. And this was a Sega arcade game later ported onto Got the Sonic it. Gems collection on PS2, along with other Except obscure I... Sonic titles. Sonic R, man. And I hope you got your Sonic hats on, because even though the best character in the universe is clearly my little Sonic. How could you disagree? Look at the face. Look at the face. Look at the face. Look at it. I mean, that is, that is, that is adorable. I don't have a hat though, so sorry on my hair. Excuse me. I'm gonna wear my uh, child mask. I saw this on Amazon. You get like a pack of twelve, and uh, didn't realize it was for kids. So, shoot, that was my bad. Look at it. Instead, you can finally put to rest who the second best character is in the universe by right of combat and being better than the other diehard hedgehogians fighting against you. Finally, no need to argue about it through text on Tumblr or YouTube comments. You can now prove it once and for all with the Iron Price and pit all of your favorite Sonic characters against each other in the field of battle. You know, the real classics, the originals, the yes. ones that kids nowadays will never understand. Like exactly. Fan the Sniper, mm -hmm. Mr. Bean, and Woof. And I know Bark. what you're thinking. Sonic is too fast. Uh, uh, uh. So how on earth does this Sonic fighting game actually play? Well, I'll tell you right now. Um. Fucking very patient twat. Once you pick your character, very the first difficult. thing you have to make sure you do when you hit the gameplay is hit one button over and over again until you win. Look, no, you there's you more look, buttons look, you can do. Repeatedly hit the same button over and over again until you puke to win every single fucking battle, and in the end, Eggman jokes off two imaginary cocks. You win. Fuck this game. <laughs> I'm not bad. I'm so not bad at that. Oh, but that was great. But we're going to do this in chronological order. So Sonic Heroes, yay. Yay. The longest video out of the three. <laughs> Drums! Wait, is it are we are we drumming? Caddy, I love you. Oh, dude! Okay, guys, you know that the PS1 was my childhood and everything. You all know that by now. But also, along with the PS1, 
This game was also my childhood, and every time I hear this song, I get excited. It pumps you up for a great time, and the singing is just so bogged down 90s that I can't help but laugh at it. What comes up my Are you Johnny Gioli from Crush 40? Yep, that's me, man. Whenever someone sings so freaking horribly, I hear it wherever I am. Okay, fine then, Mr. Big Shot. You think you can sing Sonic Heroes better than your own fans? Then go right ahead. All right, I will. Sonic Heroes. All right, which which game is that from? <laughs> Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Okay, thanks for joining in, Johnny, but I think we should just leave the singing to someone else now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Johnny. Please come back. Johnny? That was great. I'm not mad. I'm so happy. Greetings and salutations, my beautiful people, and welcome to the Kedekra Show. I always have to do the did did deciding whether or not things deserve to be slaughtered or savage, and if you couldn't understand me, don't worry. It's just because you're a little bit too slow. <laughs> Oh yes, Sonic Heroes, the 2003 action platformer starring a dickhead in red shoes. I'm sorry, I don't get the appeal. This game hit the UK in early 2004, and I was nine years old when my sister got it for her eighth birthday on the PS2. Do you think that this meant that she got save slot number one, though? Fuck off, I always got save slot number one, and the birthday girl on her own game gets slot two. I was horrible. There was a good reason for that, however. I may not have been a huge Sonic fan, but this was the second Sonic game I ever played at the time, the first being Sonic Advance 2, and I, I poured hours into it, even more than my sister, and it was her first PS2 game. Hashtag not sorry, hashtag get fucked. I played it when the sun came up and played it when the sun dropped off. I played it during sick days from school and played it during the holiday terms from school. I played it so much I couldn't shit anymore. <laughs> Which then ended up helping me a lot because that meant my arsehole was blocked and I couldn't go to the toilet so I could play it even more! But I was a mere child all those years ago and maybe the game totally wasted my time. I don't remember how good or bad Sonic Heroes was, so that's why a Kadokura show had to be done. There is one thing I do remember about this game though. The PS2 version of the game was a load of bum! Oh, oh. I guess I had the- I still have the GameCube version. PlayStation symbols on the side bars of the game for Tisbo. Right, bear with me. I haven't played this game in a while. I might take a few minutes to readjust. Sorry? Tutorial? I don't ever remember playing a tutorial all those years ago. Let's give it a look. Hello. Oh, fuck, I remember why I didn't do it. <laughs> Whoever decided this voice was good enough to teach you how to play the game needed to be sectioned. So, one of the unique things about Sonic Heroes is the fact that you have more heroes than just Sonic's team. You get to play the game through three other teams as well. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'll just stick with Team Sonic because, I mean, the game is Sonic Heroes after all. Team Dark is not only home to Shadow the Hedgehog, who. Yeah. yeah. But also, Omega isn't even looking at me, so if he doesn't care, I don't know why I should. Team Chaotic stages are all mission based, Ooh. meaning that you have to do a lot of finding hidden things in the stage. <laughs> Bugger off, I'm not doing it. Yeah. These charmy bee's eyes are making me feel a little bit sick. And as for Team Rose, well, they have... Froggy! Ah! So yeah, we're sticking with Sonic for now, and it's also the default normal difficulty of the gameplay, so it'll give us a good average idea on how well the game has held up. Yo, Tails! Long time no see! What? Long time no see? Sonic, are you totally deranged? You see each other all the fucking time! You're practically his father! I'm brothers. Sonic heroes. But I love the fact that he goes backwards. Seriously, why are you telling them all of this, you complete and utter burk? Now they know exactly what you're going to do and they will definitely stop you because they have, at least, mm, I don't know, 2,000 times before this game came out. Time to crack that Eggman wide open! Am I the only one that thinks that sounds like Sonic wants to fuck Eggman? <laughs> Woohoo! Off we go! Yeah! What a fantastic intro stage. You immediately jump straight into classic Sonic action in surprisingly good 3D. You've got fast and fluent level design with plenty of switching pathways, simple routes mixed with enough fast reaction time jumping and attacking to make you feel really good at this early point of the game, and to accompany this some totally kick-ass music and honestly beautiful graphics for nearly 15 years ago. You also get to mess around with Sonic Heroes' main gimmick, switching between three totally different characters in your team for different playstyles. Sonic is for pure speed, ring dashing along a trail of them, and homing attacks over pits. Knuckles is for brute force and fighting the enemies to open doors along with gliding and floating. Shit. <laughs> Knuckles! What did you just say? Shit, 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 shit! Wash your mouth out at once, <laughs> young man. This game is a three plus. <laughs> That's why his favorite character. Him in Metal Sonic.
He's so foul mouthed, you might as well call him fuckles. And Tails is used <laughs> for aerial attacks, high jumps, brief flight, and <laughs> doing this. So, Tails, do you like the game that you're in so far? <laughs> yeah, 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 supersonic speed! Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, so much fun, nothing could stop me now! Oh, wait, shit, I missed a checkpoint, just give me a second and I'm turning around. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, I got it now. Supersonic speed! <laughs> anyway, like I said, this level looks fantastic, and the same applies to the rest of the game as a whole. Every world has a unique color palette, atmosphere, and assets, while every stage within the world has its own impressive graphically intensive set mm -hmm. pieces and environmental design and challenges that use the visuals to change the way the level works. And the music from start to end is simply great. And not only the intro theme sung by Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? This doofus, but all of the background music as well. There's a unique track for each stage with the same instrumentation and theming of each world. And they're all completely superb whether or not they go for hard rock or trippy techno and driving drum and bass. I'll never forget the joyous keyboard melodies and guitar solos carrying the tracks along in front of the slide crazy bass lines and the fact that every track not only matches with the spectacular colors and backgrounds but also the gameplay only makes every ingredient work even better together yes this is a sonic game meaning that running from a to b is the aim of the game with lots of movement mixed with moments to stop and pay attention even more so with the different formations and abilities for each situation jumping doesn't carry your momentum which is extremely strange at first but once you realize yeah. that you can use it as an emergency break to get your bearings and control yourself properly in mid-air at high speeds it's tolerable and for team sonic at least the gameplay itself is probably at its best with the ridiculously rewarding feedback of rings and points for keeping your speed up, multiple routes everywhere for a tougher but quicker time or easier and slower time, and even hidden side paths for bonuses. The last two running stages on Eggman's flying base are the best at this by far. And those yes, moments when you're being chased and need to hit buttons as fast and precisely as possible are always very <laughs> oh. The formation gimmick itself is a cool idea and very quick and simple to use, being set on the two buttons above action and jump. Except the when the you can only you miss it. characters when you're touching the floor is fucking stupid, especially when you're falling off of an edge and the other characters are perfectly safe above you and you're left to do nothing but die, after which everyone else starts following you to your death anyway. Through combat and checkpoints you can also level up each character up to three times and this makes their attack stronger, sounds great in theory, however Knuckles being fully leveled up is nothing on Tails being fully leveled yes, up. Yes, Tails is okay. Character, he's or absurdly overpowered and can clear walls of enemies with a few attacks at full level. It's very cool but completely unbalanced and doesn't mix well with the level design when you need to use a specific character and attack at the same time. I will have admit though that spamming Sonic's homing attack can open itself up to many a knee slapping moment where he has a total fit. <laughs> also if you kill enough robots and yes you do kill them because robots are people too or collect enough rings you can charge your team blast meter giving you a special one-off team attack that decimates the entire screen before needing another recharge and making a joke out of some boss encounters. This isn't the end! Well that's good otherwise it would be a very short game! <laughs> the controls though well they're good. Up and down. For the most part, but they can be overly sensitive whenever you want to turn, and more often than not you'll get yourself totally stuck on corners or even totally straight or slightly curved tracks, completely killing the momentum and just <laughs> looking as dumb as shampoo for ducks. And what about when you're running away from something and- Hang on a second, what yeah. the fuck was that about? Yeah. I did that perfectly, how do I avoid that? Well, we go up there. Yep, thanks Tails, it's not like I can go anywhere else. L let's try that again. <laughs> oh, come on, what is this shite? Well, we go up there. Yes. Thanks, Tails. I've done this twice already. Ugh, who tested this part of the game? Where are we Tails, <laughs> shut up or I swear to Christ I'll rip your tails off and hang you from them! And hey, the pinballing levels, they're a total disgrace. If the pinballing sections in Sonic Heroes were my own child, Mm -hmm. I'd disown it. The physics here don't exist. Hitboxes don't exist. Influencing the direction of your rolling character even slightly doesn't exist. No. Sometimes a paddle will make you spontaneously appear at the top of the table and sometimes they barely move you at all. Sometimes a bounce pad will fly you around and sometimes it will make you clip through a speed pad. Honest yep. to God, all of this footage you're seeing here is me trying my absolute hardest to simply try and get to the exit ramp of this table. Nothing else. And it was close to impossible and not even slightly fun. Even better was this moment when Sonic decided to get stuck in a fucking slot machine, leaving me not only with this precious and adorable little noise, but also the fact that Sonic never got out and never rejoined my team to carry on with the stage. And if it wasn't for the fact that I luckily had a team blast saved on me and ready to use, I would have had to kill myself to reset to the checkpoint and do the painful slog of the pinball tables all over again and just hope to the mighty lord of the dance that no one else got stuck in there again. It's totally it out of your control what happens here. Yeah. And I do understand that casinos are all luck based, but this is being a little too literal, you know what I'm saying? How you would A rank any of these casino stages, I have no clue. Practice. Let me carry on my list of grievances. 
with more grievances. Sonic's ring dash to travel along a line of rings, well, sometimes it works beautifully and sometimes it doesn't work whatsoever and mm -hmm. I honestly cannot tell you why. As straight as you are behind the ring trail, it just sometimes doesn't work. Often leading yep. to your untimely yep. end. Also, yes. also, the characters constantly spout unhelpful advice and nonsensical rubbish depending on your situation. Looks like we can use that cannon to go up. Oh, really? I didn't think it would do that. Let's leave it to Sonic. Wait, wait, leave it to Sonic? The enemies? Mm -hmm. They should be killed by Knuckles in the not, power formation. Not, Make up your mind, game. Just enough to pass. Right, I don't know what school you went to, Knuckles, but anywhere <laughs> I come from is a fat old see me after class. It's a fail. You get an E for being extremely bad at grading. Better not touch those fireballs. Oh, thank God. I was actually going to touch the burning flesh melting fire until you told me not to. What would I do without you? They're pulling out all the tricks. I love how Knuckles. All the tricks. Sorry, what were they pulling out? I don't think you made it clear enough. That's the evil genius, Dr. Eggman. Dr. Who? Christ, I am so glad that I decided not to do all of this again with all the other teams. I can't imagine how awful that must be. The true ending of this game is not worth the current amount of It is. Yes, it is. Please just zip it and let yes, me play. Yes, it is. My head's spinning! Good, I hope I'm screwed and falls off! Wait, wait, wait a sec. What's this? A key? Get That's to the end key. of the stage without getting hit to keep it and then unlock a bonus stage? Brilliant! These are some of the worst <laughs> bonus levels I've ever played in a video game. Look at this madness. This isn't corrupted footage. This is how jumpy these stages look. The idea is to catch the Chaos Emerald running away from you while collecting balls to make you speed boost. But how do you speed boost? By spamming the action button over and over and over again, of course. You can actually just hold it, though. stoppy, starty, jittery gameplay and a totally dead thumb after about 10 seconds because you need to boost at least 90% of the stage in order to catch the bloody thing. <laughs> this would be fine, but it's a shame that there are bombs everywhere that Slowing basically you down. stop you totally dead in your tracks. And if you get hit more than three times or so, you just won't win. And trying to avoid them with the constant jittery speed boosting, zero momentum, and extremely sensitive controls makes it all total hell. I don't need to say any more. Look at it. I've seen <laughs> mullets better than this. You know what? At this point, I'd rather play with my dog. So I'm going to play with my dog. Where's Toy? <laughs> this Toy. I got your toy! Play with the fucking toy! <laughs> no, it's my toy. It's my toy. No, it's my no, it's my toy. Give give me my toy back. Right, you have you have a stretch. It's very Oh for oh. fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, there we go. We're going, we're going now, yeah. Give me this go toy. It's my toy. I'm gonna get you! I gonna get you! Ah! Ah! I got you. I got you. Don't know. This is really bad. Oh dear. Oh, it's oh no. Oh jeez. He's pushing me down. Ah. There's toy. I got get you. Even the bosses are very 50-50. I do love how the Eggman machine battles all combine speed in order for you to keep up with the machine and avoid the huge area attacks while switching to power formation for attacks and dodging sequences. But the team battles, oh good gravy, they're a joke. <laughs> gotcha, my darling Sonic. Amy, what are you doing here? Sonic? This time, there's no way out of marrying me. Amy, I don't think the threatening to kill the guy you want to marry is going to help your situation. Also, aren't you like 12? There's simply she is. no strategy here. It's complete luck along with mashing the attack button. And since and... every team likes to do that exact thing, your best bet is to just spam Tails' aerial attacks to shove off everybody and finish the stage in 15 seconds. No yeah. joke. Otherwise, you'll have to deal with Big the Cat doing a lot of this, and then the boss just ends even when he's still alive on the stage. What? I didn't mention grind rails yet, though. When they work, they're fantastic fun, but when they don't, it's enough to give me an aneurysm. Leading and jumping from one rail to another, much like ring dashing, has a 50-50 chance of working, which yeah. isn't enough good odds above a bottomless pit. And often you'll blatantly land on a grind rail, but just not grind and fall off. The only thing that saves this is the dying noise when you fall. It takes a good six seconds for anyone to even realize that they're falling, and as soon as they do realize it... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so guys, how do you feel that last stage went? Yeah, I think it went okay. I'm writing the reports on it right now. They'll be on your desk in the morning. Oh, oh we're falling and we're dead now. Are we okay? No problem. <laughs> oh, <Knuckles. laughs> You were never the sharpest knife in the cutlery drawer, were you? I'm falling! 
you're not gonna be hit the pavement and die! And so after many twists and turns, fun gameplay and atrocious gameplay, great bosses and bosses, we wonder why instead of going flat when we get crushed, we instead clip through the floor and die, and then finally get to Eggman's moity floating base with some of the best ending stages in a Sonic oh, game. Yeah. And after blowing up all of his egg cannons with switches on his own base, which begs the question why he even fucking put them there in the first place, uh, we head for a matter. pretty decent and difficult ending encounter, and then finish off with Amy chasing down Sonic even though we murdered her in cold blood earlier, and then the credits roll. Whee! At least for Sonic's story. And that's Sonic Heroes. I honestly don't know what to make of this game anymore, and I only played through one out of four damn campaigns. <laughs> I just can't believe that I invested so much time in this game when I was younger. How did I not give up and scream half the time? The presentation is brilliant, and some of the game itself is fantastic, with creative level design, adrenaline-fueled action, and unique bosses combining speed and combat together. But the rest is just a fucking Greek tragedy. Glitchy, overly sensitive, jerky, annoying- yeah. Run off, Dale! And the fact that the other story modes are more or less the same with slight variations means it must get pretty repetitive with the grinding to get the Chaos Emeralds in the awful special stages. It just doesn't sound that fun when you take the whole package into consideration. Sonic Heroes is far from heroic, but truth be told, I have played a lot worse 3D Sonic games, and especially mm. compared to some of his more recent 3D Sonic outings, this game is much more consistent as a Sonic experience. It's just not all that great as a game overall. Because of that, Sonic Heroes today gets the slavage. Just believe me when I say that the GameCube version of the game is on the floor. All right? And until next time, if it's your birthday today while watching this video, happy frickin' birthday to you, and please remember to stay beautiful. Yeah. Sounds good. Also, Mr. Gioli, I would write a special thanks in the credits for your contribution to this episode, but the problem is I can't spell your fucking surname, so this is gonna have to do. <laughs> Okay, no. so seriously, thanks a million for watching this video, that everybody, and a massive special thanks to the great Johnny Gioli for his amazing... Yes, that was awesome. I wasn't expecting that, but that was really awesome. Now for the... Good old... Sonic Forces. <laughs> Please say something about Infinite Steam. Please say something about Infinite Steam. Hey everyone, I'm... and thanks for clicking on this Sonic Forces video. Now, before we begin, do you want to make some extra cash? Well, if you said yes to that question, that's very lucky because today this video has been sponsored by Harris Poll. By taking online surveys for food, games, movies, and all sorts of different things, you can not only help yeah, the industry no. get better by improving products, fun. but also get some points and exchange them for iTunes cash or Amazon gift cards, all sorts of stuff. I gave it a go myself and to see a discount in my Amazon basket for Christmas shopping was a godsend. So please click the link below to check out the polls and start earning some extra money. By the way, thank you so much to Harris Poll for sponsoring this video. On with the show. Ooh, that's not where I want to go. much. Neither do you, Charmy, but I still managed to find a use for your pointy butt. <laughs> Um. Hey everyone, Caddy here, and today I'll be talking at you about Sonic Forces, and I don't really know where to start. You all know me, I'm not the biggest Sonic fan at all, I've never understood the appeal of the series, but I yeah. do enjoy enough of his games to get slightly giddy about the next mainline entry, so everything said in this video is coming from the most casual Sonic fan you can imagine. Okay. Not a hater, and not a super fan, I I'm can right respect down that, the middle, though. so please keep that in mind. And dude, I haven't played Mania yet, but after Forces, I really wish I had, because I, I don't even know what the hell this game even is. <laughs> Spoilers all right, okay. Nice. Well, let's start with a story, I guess. A story that is unabashedly hilarious, but equally just as tragic. In this world of bright and happy, colourful, speedy animals, the world nearly ends and the villains are too strong for Sonic, who ends up dying in the first five minutes. <laughs> What? After that, we cut to some time later, and there's a resistance of your favourite characters coming together to stop Eggman and his new friend Infinite without Sonic. But of course he isn't really dead, and he comes back, okay? To fix everything alongside classic Sonic, who is just there for no reason, and a it's... new rookie to the Sonic Force who is exactly. anyone you want to be. I'm sorry, but what even is this plot? I barely understand the appeal of Sonic when he's being happy-go-lucky and cheesy, but stick him in a Shadow the Hedgehog aesthetic and I just lose it. Whatever it is that finished Sonic, 
Sorry, I'm still not used to saying that. And that would be fine if it were tongue in cheek, but I never got that impression once. It's not as bad as Shadow the Hedgehog with its swearing and everything, but it takes itself way too seriously for the subject matter, which then makes some scenes and dialogue stick out like a thorn in your foot when they would be acceptable in any other cheesy context. Classic Sonic, for instance, has absolutely no reason to be here, but voila, there he is, and Tails mm -hmm. doesn't know why as well, concludes that it's because it's Eggman fucking with the dimensions, and that's it. It's never brought up or mentioned again. By the halfway point of the game, I was skipping every single conversation part because of yeah. how boring it was getting since characters okay. just repeat shit, say the obvious, and list things that need doing with barely any witty or engaging back and forth. There is zero character in these dialogue scenes. I won't lie though, for as little place they have in a game this apocalyptic, I admit I laughed a few times like when Knuckles leads the army into battle. Let's go! Go! <laughs> Even here with this incredibly subtle joke. It's been generations since I've seen you. You okay? Okay, that's clever. As for yeah. your avatar character, I won't lie, it's easily the most fun and ridiculous aspect of the story, and one that the devs really went extravagant on with dozens of things to customize yourself with. Every Sonic fan at some point has drawn an original character, and now yep. you can not only make it, but also play kind of. it, which is a total yeah. stroke of genius and not just beneficial for the fans. Yes, yeah. even I had fun here, and I made some classic designs in the form of Terry the Bird. Or Ooh. bury the turd. I went into the realm of a badass future robot cowboy with a monocle, to a prep boy with a bow tie, pirate hat, and skin tight bodysuit, to a total hipster, which was my favorite, and even a human condom wearing Crocs. It's a beam of sunlight in the snowstorm, which is the Sonic Forces story, and unfortunately the same can be said in the gameplay. Beams of sunlight breaking through a total mess of fog and wee. What I'm trying to say is that it's fun enough, but not without a lot of frustration. For most a of the lot. game, you're going fast, which is good enough, and it does feel very exhilarating for sure when it works properly. Things may be quick, but aren't impossibly fast, since target reticles on the upcoming enemies are bright and colourful enough to stand out and help you react with an avatar attack, boost attack, or jump attack in time, and recklessness is never rewarded. The mm -hmm. controls in which you do all of this though are iffy to say the least. Controlling three types of character with different moves in random gaps between each chapter can be a little bit confusing but it's not too bad. What is though is how each of these characters play themselves. Different moves are one thing but different physics makes no sense whatsoever when you're trying to adapt. Acceleration with Classic Sonic for instance is absurdly fast and unnatural and with your avatar it's absurdly slow and just as unnatural. Across all characters the turning at high speeds is just massively yes. unresponsive and stiff and even weirder and... if you turn the analog stick too much, you stop dead in your tracks as you move 90 degrees to the side. With all of the characters and jumping, it's also weird. You hang in the air just a little bit longer than you'd expect, but then hit the floor like a ton of bricks out of nowhere. And this isn't too awful when you have a bit of speed behind you, because the jump arc and weight is slightly built around it, but in slow-paced, isolated sequences, it can be a fucking nightmare. And there's more in this game than I would have liked. The simplest and most rudimentary platforming parts mm -hmm. are made hard as concrete with the alien physics, along with a totally useless double jump with modern Sonic, and the fact that classic Sonic doesn't stop in mid-air after you let go of the stick after a jump, but modern Sonic does. I can't describe how weird and jerky it really is, and I don't understand how it's been done so much better from years ago and it just seems to have been forgotten about. In many other games you can slightly look past and forgive the odd control issue, but in something as fast and aggressive as Sonic it really sticks out more than it usually yeah, would. It does. It just highlights how heavy and inconsistent the whole game is. However, I've got to be honest, the bosses luckily I found to be the highlight of the game with all of the unique patterns and approaches to the fight. There's a load of really fun multiple forms and challenging moments of speed combining with reaction based homing attacks and they're the most creative and consistently decent part of this game and helps to mask how easy it is. I started this game on hard difficulty and even saying that I was surprised how much of the game basically plays itself. I yeah, expected it's the game to kind of run on its own hard. during loops and corkscrews but I was not expecting the dense amount of speed pads that don't let you turn and just propel you in a predetermined direction and I wasn't expecting the game to show me that I can use the avatar's cannon and whip arm thing to grapple swing on things but then have the game randomly decide to not let me do that and do it for me 50% of the time like mm -hmm. I could easily fall down there and be punished for not paying attention to the game why are you doing it for me even with iffy controls and frustrating moments with plenty of ring losses and deaths I was still reaching the end of most stages with an S ranking which honestly felt totally undeserved for me at the highest difficulty <laughs> of the game so am I missing something or are other people finding it really easy as well it's a relief it was, uh, that the game does look great no denying rushed. that with tons of background <clears throat> details, smooth 60 FPS gameplay on PS4 Pro, and when I saw the sunlight bouncing off of the grass in Green Hill, it helped make a recycled area feel much more modern and alive. The soundtrack is great as well, 
well, when there isn't any singing at least. I'm sorry guys, but what the actual hell was going on with the songs in this game? I see people singing the praises of the bands in this game all the time, but I'm sorry, I just found all of the tracks with singing in it to be really annoying and very whiny, and the ending credits theme sounded like a fucking Disney princess song. You know, not from the actual movie itself, but when there's the trendy chart-topping single version of the most popular song released to cash in later, usually in the credits of Disney movies. The Genesis twangy style pieces in the classic Sonic stages are all fantastic though, and when all of the great instrumental tracks are combined with the visuals and the action set pieces and automatic parts, it can be wonderfully exhilarating, no doubt about it, whether you're actually joining in with the game or letting it play itself. Gameplay and controls may have been extremely underwhelming, but the level design as a whole I found to be pretty decent, saving it slightly. With every stage offering ample optional routes and tons of secrets hidden away in really good places, and with the avatar stages in particular, there's the differences of discovering all of the optional routes depending on the weapon that you're carrying that allows mm -hmm. you to bounce towards the sky, fly along long trails of rings, and even drill alongside flat surfaces. And in those stages where you can string combos of rail grinding, weapon abilities, and homing attacks together, it really does feel great. I also loved all of the daily changing missions that give you little bonuses for completing, but as far as the SOS missions are concerned, mm. yeah, I don't get this. Not only because they're all exactly the same stages you've already done in the past with barely any changes and barely any decent rewards for doing them, but also in the context of the story. Since the SOS calls that you get in the game are all from random members of your resistance against Eggman, so you either have to help them escape or get them out yourself, but you never see the resistance grow or even how big it is or how important each member is to the team or anything, what they contribute. You start the game, Sonic dies quote unquote, and then there's an army ready. Like what the fuck? It's just a load of other random characters that need helping. And if you fail the mission and let them die, there's no punishment or consequence for doing that and it all just feels meaningless and even more meaningless that it's already on finished stages that all repeat the same story dialogue from whatever stage it was. So like, are they stuck in the past or not? What is this shit? The secret stages are contextually better at this and can be a fun enough time, but I haven't even got onto the glitches I encountered during my playtime. Don't get me wrong, this is not Sonic Boom or Sonic 06 at all, but I still did run into a few issues that pulled me out of the experience a bit, especially with the iffy controls. I experienced glitching straight through grind rail springs for no reason, falling through platforms during very frustrating and stiff platforming sections, and even this part where I had a big jump, decided to boost when I landed because it looked safe enough to do so, and then, oops, I went straight through the turn that the game was supposed yep. to take me on with the speed pads. I did didn't jump there, I promise you. I don't know guys, I've seen positive reviews of this game and negative ones from Sonic fans and casual players alike, and I must be honest, I'm on the negative spectrum here. The game definitely has moments of fun and moments of every element of speed, reaction based attacking and platforming coming together in bliss. But that's all they are, moments, in a sea of awkward controls and occasional glitching. Production values are great, but the story I couldn't bloody stand, and even for a reduced price on the shelf, yeah, this isn't a full retail price game, so things could have been a lot worse, it's still one of the most pants games I've ever played, I think. I didn't it enjoy Sonic rushed. Forces as a whole, and I will not be playing it again, I'm afraid to say, but you know, it's not the worst Sonic game out there, far from it. There's positive reviews for a reason. I'm just really not one of those positive reviews because a little too much of this game rubbed me the wrong way against the moments that impressed me. So overall, I'm going to give this game a 4 out of 10. If it's your birthday today while watching this video, happy freaking birthday to you and please remember to stay beautiful. Okay, I can, I can respect that. But thanks so much for watching this review everyone and special thanks to everybody on the screen right now for supporting this channel. I, you know, I can honestly respect that. Um, it was a hit or miss for me. Like mention too. Um, I still play it from time to time just for reasons. Mainly if and it's theme. Because his theme is so freaking my opinion, I love it. It's like one of the best silent character theme songs ever. But my opinion again. Anyways, that was a fun Sonic videos. Many of videos. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed his react, or not his reaction, but his review on them. Even the Sonic Fighters, that was funny. But until next time, love, I'll check you guys later. Ta-ta!